Hey guys, it's Michael here from Miniature Painting. And today we are going to paint a zombie or a walker, I have to say, from Mantic. Mantic's Walking Dead. So, this one is a special walker. We did a backpack on this and this one was gifted to me by a guy uh, who I talked to about modding uh, walkers. So we start off with a nice double thin coat of dead flesh. As you can see here, I'm a bit sloppy. That is because everything will be filled in afterwards. Then we have two zombies. Yes, you will be seeing more of her later on. But not in this video, I suppose. So it's just a sneak peek. I love sneak peeks. Off to the Agrax Earth Shade over the skin to have it that dirty tone or washed up tone of rotten flesh or rotting flesh. There you go. After that you will be dry brushing it again with the same dead flesh from Vallejo as you see right here. And just flick that brush around and around until you get the desired thickness. I sound like a cooking program, don't I? After that you will be painting the pants. Since these are two hikers, I suppose that guy who I'm holding right now is a little bit more enthusiastic about going through the woods and thus he has a full suit, like seen here, of survival gear. I am going to shade or highlight that with Goblin Green. I am using a makeup brush because it's a little bit softer and I didn't have a dry brush at hand which still holds the quality of a brush I needed. There you go. Nicely highlighted. By the way, makeup brushes aren't that bad actually. So you can use them. You can use them really good. After that, we will be painting the shoes and the backpack with Leather Brown from Vallejo. In the meantime, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe, like, share, comment and rate. And after that, you will be seeing a lot of grey hair. This is an older man, was an older man before he became a walker. So he needs some gray hair. I think he should need some gray hair. The choices you have with making hair is, is, is so much. I have trouble choosing, so I chose gray this time. I haven't got a gray haired zombie yet. Walker. I haven't got a gray haired walker. After that, we will be doing a really strange thing, and that is paint the belt red. In a couple of minutes, you will see the final result, and then you get the idea that it's correct. After that, we will be painting the non oil, the belt, the backpack, and his gray hair. The shoes will be painted uh, Agrax Church, but I've got to, pay, uh, to film that. Then the weathering of the walker. Hey, I said it correct. And we will be doing that with a red. Doesn't matter which red, as long as it's a really dark red. So the corn red should be good. Um, I have the gore red. But a really watered down. So you can see that it's an old blood the thinner it is the older the blood looks like uh, looks like and after that you're visually done with the model so you just need to base it and, and and that's it it's a pretty nice model thanks for watching hope to see you soon and see the results in a miniature showcase coming up in a couple of days thanks for watching see you around bye, -bye.